Hi, welcome to Wise Guides. Electric Field Practice Question 4. This question, I'm going to show you an electric beam is horizontally shoot in the electric field which is created by parallel plate. The parallel plate bottom one is positive charged and top is negative charged. So the electric field between the parallel plate is 300 newton per current. The electric beam and shoot horizontally between these two plates. The initial velocity is 3.8 times 10 to the 6 meter per second. They're looking for what is the vertical diffraction. That means because of electric field strength, when the electric electron beam should horizontally in to the parallel plate, and because from this we can see the electric field line we can draw from positive to negative because bottom is positive, top is negative. So this right is parallel electric field line and uh, inside this one is a uniform electric field. When the electron beam horizontally should between these two plates, because electrons are negative, so that's what the force, electric field force is opposite with the electric field line, which is down. And also you can think about the negative charge this is positive, they attract, right? So that's why the force is downward. And this force, because this is the electron field, is uniform, that's why everywhere same, that's why the electric force also is constant. So as a result, this one, and with initial velocity horizontally, that's why the electron beam is doing projectile 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 motion this is curved a little bit curved so you create a vertical diffraction which you we're looking for okay this is projectile so because for electron, compared with the electron force and its mass, we ignore the, the gravity of electrons. So let's find the step by step. First of all, we're looking for step one, we're looking for what electric force, because we given the electric field strength, so we use the definition formula we can write the F, because E equals F over Q, so that's why we have F equals E times Q. That's why this F equals E is 300 Newton per coulomb, which by Q, the electro, electron charge is 1.6 0 times 10 to the negative 19. So we have 3 times 1.6 is 4.8. 0 times 10 to the negative 17 newton. And as you can see, the mass of electrons, electron for each mass is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilogram. That's why compare, even as gravity, you multiply 9.8, we got 
almost negative 30 exponent, right? And we'll try 9.8, got the 30 exponent Newton and compare with the force negative 17, so we ignore the gravity. So that's why the only force is the electric field force. This force is equivalent to the gravity just look like gravity they pulling down this but it's not pulling by gravity but pulling by electric field force and with initial velocity horizontally that's why they do projectile motion the projectile motion uh, you think about in this case we have we need to uh, solve x direction horizontal direction and vertical direction Let's say the horizontal direction is x direction. On uh, x direction, there is no force. So it's a uniform motion. The, the initial velocity 3.8 times 10 to the 6 meter per second uh, is never changed. You still keep the same horizontal initial ve uh, the velocity. But the vertical is with Vertical, vertical is with zero velocity. Initial is no vertical velocity. That's why they do free fall, right? Just like free fall, but this is what we say, it's accelerating. So we can find, because you given, the plate is 2.50 centimeter long. So the electron in horizontal motion from initial to this point, which is just exit the pedal plate, and the distance is 2.5 centimeter, which is the dx. You can see the dx is 2.50 times 10 to the negative 2. We need to convert to meter. And the initial velocity, horizontal, that's why we label as x equals 3.8 times 10 to the 6 meter per second. So the equation of horizontal, because it's uniform motion, that's why we have dx equals v initial velocity, which is v x times the t, which is how long does it take the electron to exit the parallel plate. So we can find the time you call dx or vx, which is 2.50 times 10 to the negative 2 meter it divided 3.8 times 10 to the 6 meter per second. So then we can calculate the time. It's 6.58 times 10 to the negative 9 second. After find the time, because it doing projectile, the time explained in horizontal and the vertical same because these two component and uh, happen at the same time. So we can use this time, go to the vertical. The vertical y, we have, we have force, we can find the acceleration, right? We have t, then we can find the vertical displacement. So before find vertical displacement, we need to find the acceleration. The acceleration on y direction, which is equals to f divided m, which is 4.80 times 10 to the negative 19 newton, divided mass is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilogram, and we got the acceleration, this situation equals 5.27 times 10 to the uh, 
this is uh, 31 exponent this is uh, flip over to, to the topic and positive 30, 31 and 14 this is uh, make 1 less 0 so which is uh, 13 exponent this is a meter per second squared the acceleration pretty huge so after this one we can go to the dy equals on vertical the initial velocity equals zero so the formula is one over two a times t squared so we got one over two acceleration is five point 27 times 10 to the 13 exponent multiply the t is 6.58 times 10 to the negative 9 close bracket the square so after this one we got answer is uh, we got answer is one point one four millimeter. The vertical diffraction dy equals one point one four millimeter. Okay. So this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.